Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to solve this equation for x. We have 64 to the power of the square root of x plus 1 is equal to 8. So the x is part of this exponent here, so this is an exponential equation. And we can solve exponential equations by using the logarithm at some point, but sometimes the equations are simple enough that we don't necessarily have to use the logarithm. So maybe we can get around that. So let's see what we can do here. On this side, we have base 64. On the other side, we have the 8. And the good thing is that the 8 is in the 64 as well. So we can write the 64 as 8 to the power of 2. This is 64. Okay, I still have my exponent, so I have to write this in parentheses, my 64, and take my beautiful exponent, the square root of x plus 1. On the other side, I still have my 8. So now if I compare the two sides, I have an 8 here and I have an 8 here. The problem on the left side is that I still have these parentheses here, but there is a rule how to get rid of these parentheses. If you have something like x to the power of a and all of this to the power of b, then you are allowed to just multiply these two exponents. So you take your base, the x, and then you multiply these two. You do a times b. Let's do this here. We take our base, the 8, and then we multiply these two. So we take the 2 and multiply it by our other exponent here by the square root of x plus 1. And on the other side, we still have our 8. Okay, if we compare the two sides now, we have 8 to the power of something here. And here we have 8 to the power of something as well. <laughs> well, if we don't see anything, then there is always a 1. So on the left side, we have this as our exponent. On the right side, we have this as our exponent. If both sides have to be equal, and we have 8 to the power of something here, and 8 to the power of something here, then these orange parts have to be equal to each other. So instead of writing this equation like this, we know that this orange thing here, so my 2 times the square root of x plus 1, has to be equal to this orange thing here, to the 1. So now I can just solve this equation here. I want to solve for x. My x right now is inside this square root. And in front of my square root, I have this 2 times here. So maybe we first get rid of this 2 times by dividing both sides of the equation by this 2. So we divide by 2 here and here. This cancels out then, and only my square root is left with my x plus 1. And on the other side, I have 1 over 2. We still want to solve for x, so we have to get rid of the square root now. How can I get rid of square root in an equation? By squaring both sides of the equation. So we can just take the entire left side and square this thing, and we also take the entire right side and square this thing. The important part is just if you square an equation, you have to check your results at the end, if they are valid. So it could happen that we get a result at the end that is not really a result for our equation. So always, as soon as you square, 
keep in mind that we have to check our result in the end. Okay, but we are allowed to square, and the square gets rid of the square root here, so we only have x plus 1 here, and here we square everything as well. 1 squared equals 1, 2 squared equals 4. Now, we just want to solve for x, so we subtract the 1 on both sides of the equation, so that we only have our x here, because this cancels out. And on the other side, we have 1 over 4 minus 1. So, to subtract this here, we can write the 1 as a fraction as well, so 1 over 1. We need the same denominators, so let's multiply by 4 here as well. 1 times 4 equals 4, 1 times 4 equals 4. Now we have the same denominators and we can subtract. 1 minus 4 equals negative 3 and we keep our denominator. Negative 3 over 4 is a result, but we have to check it. So, let's take our result and let's insert it here for our x. So, on the left side we have 64 to the power of the square root of, for our x, we insert the negative 3 over 4, we add the 1, and now let's calculate this and let's see if we get 8 as a result. Okay, we have the 64, we have the beautiful square root, but what is in here? We want to add these two numbers again, so let's write this as a fraction again. We multiply each number by 4, so that we have 4 over 4 here. Now we can add negative 3 plus 4 equals 1, and we keep the denominator. Okay, so 64 and the square root of 1 over 4, we can calculate that. The square root of 1 just equals 1, and the square root of 4 just equals 2. 64 to the power of 1 over 2. <laughs> what is that? Well, the power of 1 over 2 you can always write this as the square root of 64. So instead of a power of 1 over 2, you can always rewrite it as the square root. If you know that, then we have the square root of 64, which is just equal to 8, and that was the result we were looking for. So. Our result is valid. This is our only solution to this equation here. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!